sixth sense. The purpose of this exhibit is to mystify you so that when you are in the privacy of your thoughts, you can question why it works and then learn and appreciate the mathematics more. Here is the 4x4 four four magic square. We first push the seven button, eliminating other rows and columns. Next, we push the one button. The sum now becomes eight. We now have a choice to push the 14 button, and the sum becomes 22. The only button left that we can push is the 12 button, giving us a, a sum of 34. How does it work? Let's count in base four. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. The fourth digit in the first, second, third, and fourth row reach zero, one, two, and three respectively. In the columns, they're also zero, one, two, three, respectively. We now push the numbers corresponding to the buttons on the exhibit. You'll notice that we get zero, one, two, three from each row and column. We now convert them to base 10. They add up to 30. Now we add one to give the numbers on the board, and we get 34. This will be true for any combination of four buttons that we're allowed to push. Now, let's switch around a few of those blocks, and we will discover that we can make the rows, columns, and diagonals in this configuration each add up to 34. Now, let's look at the 6x6 six six magic square to enhance our sixth sense. We begin by pushing button number 23, eliminating certain rows and columns. Then we push 6, which gives us a total of 29. Next, we push 8, eliminating certain rows and columns, and it gives us a total of 37. Now we push 15. This gives us a total of 52. Next, we push 34, giving us a total of 86. And finally, we have no choice but 20, but 25, and gives us a total of 111. For the 4x4 four four magic square, the sum is always 34, and for the 6x6 six six magic square, it's always 111. Now let's take a look at the board again, and remove the blocks in groups of four. We can't do this on the actual display. We now begin by putting in the first four blocks in the next pattern. One, two, three, four. The next blocks go in a U pattern. Five, six, seven, eight. The next blocks go in the next pattern. The next blocks go into the second of three U patterns. And the next blocks go into the third of the U patterns. And now we continue with our X pattern. And when this is finished, every single row, column, and major diagonal will add up to 111. These blocks are not movable in the actual exhibit. And here we have the two exhibits. The explanation and simulation of the sixth sense was prepared by the math and physics exploration in LaGrange, New York, for MoMath in New York City. Here are some websites that you might